from a vat filled with a gooey black substance. Ashley is taken out, then she is washed up and dressed. Moments later, Ashley wakes up in a bedroom and finds Spencer watching her. Ashley has no memories of who or where she is, but instead of answering her questions, Spencer shares some wine and makes the house AI play their song. He wonders if this helps her remember anything, but Ashley repeats she doesn't know. Already angry at the lack of process, Spencer jumps on her and pushes her to the floor, where he proceeds to choke her and bang her head until she dies. Afterward he throws the body into a tank outside the house. When his mother Victoria arrives, she isn't surprised about the death and gives Spencer a notebook to write his thoughts on what he did. Spencer promises to write it down later and points out that the dead woman didn't feel like the real Ashley. Afterward Victoria goes to her home lab, where she wonders what she's done wrong with her experiment. While she works, Spencer slides a notebook under the door. At that moment, Victoria gets a call from Spencer's dad Parker and they meet in a virtual reality to chat. Parker asks about Spencer and Victoria explains she's doing everything she can, but Spencer won't cooperate. When Parker reminds her that Spencer should get clinical help, Victoria turns down the idea again because she doesn't want them to take her son away and she wants to protect him. Parker points out that the journal doesn't have enough information, so she needs to watch Spencer while he kills. Not wanting to influence the results, Victoria decides to install a security camera in Spencer's room. Then she begins working and it's revealed that she's a geneticist who is making clones of Ashley over and over for Spencer to kill. A new Ashley is made now and after cleaning her, dressing her, and even doing her makeup, Victoria drops her in Spencer's room. While waiting for her to wake up, Spencer notices the camera and gets annoyed. Eventually Ashley awakes and Spencer immediately yells to ask her if she's someone else, but she says that she doesn't know. Getting more annoyed, he asks if she remembers him and Ashley says no again, causing Spencer to start shouting at her and demanding to be remembered as he plays the same song. Afraid, Ashley tries to leave, but once again Spencer grabs her to choke her and bang her head to death while Victoria watches in tears. Once he's done, Spencer furiously destroys the camera. While he takes the body to the tank, a flashback shows Spencer over a month ago going out for a walk. Suddenly he saw a man dropping the real Ashley in the middle of nowhere before driving away. Curious about this stranger, Spencer began approaching her while reading a text from his mother saying she'd stay late at work. Then Spencer met Ashley and offered her to come to his house since the nearest town was six hours away on foot. Ashley accepted and borrowed Spencer's jacket for the chill. In the present, Spencer tells Victoria this isn't working because the clones don't feel real, so Victoria asks him for more time since that was only her fourth attempt. In the evening, Victoria calls Parker and blames him for making her watch Spencer's murder, but Parker explains she had to see it to understand Spencer's needs and prevent him from killing someone else in the future. While they chat, Victoria gets a call from an employee from the company she owns, but she ignores it. Afterward Victoria decides to spend more time with Ashley's clone to make her more real and human. Parker wonders if that's possible because Victoria hasn't gone to work since all this started and the employees are starting to notice her absence, but Victoria ignores him too. The next day, Victoria gets a new clone ready but doesn't take her to Spencer yet. She talks to him and asks him to stay away from Ashley to give her time to get used to life and become more real, so Spencer agrees and continues to work on his art, which sometimes could move in his eyes. Sometime later, Spencer leaves his room and finds Ashley talking to Victoria in the guest room. When they see him too, Victoria rushes to close the door. Afterward, Spencer goes outside to watch the ants and draw them on a portrait he made of Ashley, thinking this drawing is moving too. Then he goes for a walk and finds a woman he hasn't seen before at the neighbor's house. Her name is Marissa and she explains her parents are in Europe, so she'll be house-sitting. Spencer helps her move the boxes and quickly befriends her. When he returns home, Spencer draws a portrait of Marissa that blinks at him. Later in the evening, Victoria is surprised to hear someone at the door, it's Marissa, who has brought cookies to thank Spencer for his help. Victoria fakes manners and as soon as Marissa is gone, she yells at Spencer for interacting with strangers knowing that it's dangerous. Sometime later, Victoria chats with Parker, telling him about Marissa and the fact Spencer is now drawing her. She also tells him about the latest clone, which is becoming more like the real Ashley, thanks to Victoria digging for information in social media. The next day, Spencer takes the plate back to Marissa and gives her the portrait he made of her, which Marissa finds incredibly impressive. She asks him to design a tattoo for her and shows her the back of her neck as her chosen tattoo spot, which puts Spencer on the edge until she tells him she likes him. When Spencer goes home, Victoria demands to know where he's been and gets furious again when she hears he visited Marissa, reminding him not to see her again. Spencer immediately protests, so Victoria distracts him by promising he can meet the latest Ashley tomorrow. Another flashback shows how Spencer brought the real Ashley home and she went to the bathroom, where she secretly consumed some happy powder. Then Spencer shared wine with her while she asked the house to play her favorite song. Hearing that Victoria would come home late, Ashley asked Spencer to go to his room. Back to the present, Victoria explains to Ashley that Spencer is shy so she must get him to open up by talking about his interests in nature and art. Then she takes her to Spencer's room, pretending to leave them alone when she's actually outside the doors waiting. 
Spencer plays Ashley's favorite song and shares some wine with her. Ashley looks at Spencer's drawings and praises his talent, but she begins getting very nervous when she sees portraits of herself that get creepier on each page. Noticing her reaction, Spencer puts the sketchbook away and asks Ashley to dance with him. As they move, Ashley starts asking questions, and Spencer realizes she doesn't remember him either. He immediately starts choking her and Victoria has to listen to her son killing another clone. After he puts the body in the tank, Spencer explains to Victoria that everything feels fake to him, as if there was an invisible wall between him and the real world that suffocated him. However for a brief moment with the latest clone, he felt like he could breathe again like it happened with the real Ashley, so he thanks his mother with a hug. Later Victoria shares this progress with Parker and decides to continue with the experiment, hoping these positive effects will eventually help Spencer return to the real world and have a normal life. The next day, Spencer is looking at the tank thinking about the latest clone when Marissa comes to visit him and they chat for a while. Marissa shares she used to go to therapy for an eating disorder and stopped going when she got better. In return, Spencer says he also used to go to therapy but doesn't say why he stopped going or what for. At that moment he sees a strand of Ashley's hair on the ground from when he dragged her body and quickly hides it under his shoe while Marissa invites him to go to an art exhibit together. Another flashback shows the night of the incident again. The real Ashley found Spencer's art and complimented his talent before showing him the tattoo on her arm. Then she asks Spencer to dance with her, tasing him in naughty ways Spencer never experienced before. When he tried to grope her, Ashley pulled away, asking him to take it slow. This made Spencer snap and he immediately attacked her, so Ashley stepped on his foot and tried to run. However Spencer managed to grab her and pushed her to the floor, where Ashley tried to fight back and scratch the floor. Then Spencer choked her and banged her head to death, which would become his modus operandi. In the present, Victoria finishes another Ashley clone and asks Spencer to be patient so she can make more progress on making this clone more human. Ashley is taken to a guest room and when she wakes up, Victoria tells her she's been in an accident, so she has to stay with them until she recovers some memories to find her home. Afterward they go outside and Victoria shows Ashley a video of kid Spencer playing with a dog. Spencer used to have two dogs and sadly they both died, Victoria even shows Ashley the graves as she talks about how death eventually comes for everyone. Ashley hugs her to comfort her and Spencer sees them through his window as another flashback begins. That awful night, Victoria came home and found Ashley's body. She slapped Spencer as she admitted she had thought he had gotten better, implying he was the one who killed the dogs. Spencer promised nobody knew Ashley was there with them, so Victoria agreed to get rid of the body in the lab. On the day of the art exhibit, Spencer admits to Marissa this is his first time seeing art in person. It turns out he only went to school until 6th grade and became homeschooled after a terrible incident. Spencer was playing King of the Mountain on the jungle gym with the other kids and he wanted to be king so badly that he pushed a girl who appeared behind him, causing her to fall to her death. Since then Veronica has kept him away from people, which Marissa thinks is unfair because he had been just a kid, not an actual murderer. Then Marissa shows him a surprise, the portrait he gifted her is being displayed in the exhibit. At first Spencer gets angry because she did it without his permission and he feels exposed, but he calms down when Marissa explains she did it because she's proud of him. Meanwhile Victoria realizes Spencer isn't in the house and he left his phone behind. In the evening, Marissa brings Spencer home and sees Ashley at the window before leaving. As soon as Spencer goes inside, an angry Victoria yells at him again, saying she's the only one who can take care of him and he shouldn't look for others. Spencer explains Marissa makes him feel different, which is overheard by Ashley. Confused, Ashley returns to the guest room as memories of being dragged on the floor and chokes start filling her dreams. In the morning, she wakes up from this nightmare and goes outside to clear her mind. When Victoria approaches her, Ashley tells her about the dreams and asks why Spencer is kept away from her, so Victoria insists he's just shy and swears he was the one who found her. Afterward Victoria shares this with Parker, worried about what Ashley may know but at the same time excited over the possible discovery of DNA carrying memories. Sometime later, Ashley sneaks into Spencer's room and moves the carpet to find nail marks on the floor just like in her dream. Then she checks Spencer's drawings, getting disturbed when she sees her face. Ashley takes the sketchbook back to her room but before she can keep looking, Victoria knocks on her door, so Ashley has to hide the sketchbook under a pillow. A few hours later, Spencer informs Victoria that he doesn't want to do this anymore, instead he wants to have a normal life and friends. Victoria protests against the idea, saying he's been violent since he was a kid and he won't change anytime soon. The next day, Marissa sneaks around the house and finds Victoria and Ashley in the garden, so she takes a quick picture of them. Her phone makes a noise that Victoria hears, but when she comes to check, Marissa is already gone. Later Victoria is called by her employee again, scolding her for having missed work for so long. The board members are getting angry, so Victoria has no choice but to go to a meeting to calm the waters. While Spencer notices his sketchbook is missing, Victoria tells him she's leaving and she's locking Ashley in her room for her own safety. Meanwhile Marissa is searching for Ashley on the internet and is shocked to see she's a wanted criminal. She texts this information to Spencer, but since his phone is connected to his mom's, Victoria gets a copy too. 
she becomes extremely worried and decides to return home, ignoring her employees' protests. Moments later, Ashley finally gets to look through the sketchbook and sees how her portraits get more disturbing every page, so she throws it away. Meanwhile Marissa sneaks into the house because Spencer hasn't answered her text and she's worried about what Ashley may do to him. Spencer proceeds to corner her in the kitchen and comments he had planned to change for her before he starts choking her. Marissa grabs a wine bottle and smashes it on his head, then she tries to escape while she asks the house to dial 911. All her screaming and struggling ends up on the phone. At the same time, Ashley finds a hammer in her closet and uses it to break the lock to escape. In the kitchen, Spencer holds Marissa down and grabs a glass shard to stab her, which is seen by Ashley appearing in the corridor. At that moment a car can be seen outside, so Ashley rushes to hide in the lab. There she finds all the things Victoria has been using for her experiments and Ashley has a breakdown when she sees a recording of the clones coming out of the vat. She also finds the wanted posters, realizing the real Ashley was a criminal. In the meantime, Victoria comes inside and finds Marissa's body, so she slaps and yells at Spencer. She also discovers that Marissa called 911, so she tells Spencer to get Ashley and get rid of the bodies. Soon Spencer notices Ashley is gone and Victoria panics, refusing to let him take all the blame. While Spencer takes Marissa's body to the tank, Victoria enters the lab and Ashley immediately threatens her with a hammer, demanding an explanation. Victoria points out Spencer saved her from a life of crime but Ashley doesn't buy it because she remembers him killing her. She tries to attack Victoria, only to end up smashing the computer instead. When Spencer hears the noise, he rushes inside to help his mother. Ashley manages to hit Victoria with a hammer before Spencer jumps on her, so Ashley hits him on his delicate area and runs away. Outside, Ashley hides behind a car and waits for Spencer to come out, surprising him from behind to punch him. Anger takes over her as she continues to throw hits, making Spencer fall and banging his head on the ground until he dies like all his victims. At that moment the cops arrive and seeing this, they immediately arrest Ashley. Later, Victoria sees Spencer dead and cries her heart out. However instead of giving up, she says goodbye to Parker and destroys the virtual reality device. Then she proceeds to clone her son, 